This is Synth Poem Zero, an audiovisual artwork by the artist Deaf Beef. Its music is chilling and almost hypnotic in its simplicity. Coupled with the visuals, it looks like it could be a transmission from an alien society. But the roots of this piece and its artist aren't in a science fiction future. Instead, they're in the past. In order to properly explore this piece, we need to go back thousands of years. At approximately 500 years BCE, the philosopher Pythagoras walked past a blacksmith workshop and noticed the different pitches that the hammers made as they clashed with metal. He found that the different pitches were not caused by the shape of the hammer or the power of the swing, but by the size of the hammer. This showed that the changing pitch was caused by mathematical ratios and set off a series of experiments exploring mathematics as the foundation for music. Pythagoras drew on mathematics to see a divinity in music in the world around him even viewing the movement of planets in the universe as a form of music. This unity between music, mathematics, and nature has been explored by many artists, scientists, and philosophers throughout the ages. It continues in the 21st century with another blacksmith. By day, he too works with metal, but by night, he is the artist and programmer previously discussed, Deaf Beef. Deaf Beef, whose name is a play on the hex speech term Deg Beef, is an audiovisual artist the connection between music and mathematics is ever-present in his work. It underscores his creative process, which he carries out by programming, a field descending from mathematics. Inspired at a young age by randomly generated level design in video games, Deaf Beef is a generative artist, meaning that rather than creating the art directly, he creates programs which create art. In this way, he can control certain parameters around his work, but can never completely control the final output. These rules govern the work and establish the aesthetics across his projects. Advection 216, the piece you're seeing now, comments on the relationship between mathematics and nature, building on research into fluid motion conducted by the artist in 2010. In addition to academic research, Deaf Beef has also run a music studio and worked in electrical engineering. This eclectic set of skills perfectly blends into his distinctive form of generative art. The music in Deaf Beef's work stems from an interest in modular synthesizers, equipment with immense versatility and the potential to create a broad range of sounds. This is not, however, how his works are created. Due to practical consideration and a very particular creative choice, Deaf Beef creates his works in a far more limited fashion. Rather than purchase equipment or even use pre-existing software libraries, Deaf Beef elects to build his own programs to synthesize video and audio on his laptop. The way that you start is that basically you can represent sound signals as numbers. And if you can find the right pattern to put those numbers in, you can synthesize any sound. So the starting point, kind of the hello world program that you would do would be to write a program that, that outputs the samples. Those are the individual numbers that correspond to the signal of a sine wave. Write that to disk, that's a wave file, and then play it and you'll hear a tone. And then from there, based on knowledge of how sound signals are perceived, then you can start doing other things to synthesize more complex structures and, and harmonics. That was my goal, was to explore and learn, and possibly through this kind of unique process, maybe have an output that's unique. Deaf Beef's works are technically impressive, producing rich outputs while requiring very little code. They're created entirely in a C compiler one of the foundational technologies of modern software engineering. The programs don't run in real time. Instead, they output the audio and visuals, which can then be encoded together for viewing. Over the course of several series, Deaf Beef's art has evolved, encompassing a variety of sonic and visual styles. The visuals in series zero, synth poems, lend a greater focus to the audio, emulating an oscilloscope. While in series two, transmission, they take after terminal graphics and noisy video signals. Here, the music takes on more of an electronic feel, and includes more percussion than previous series. Often, the music and visual outputs are controlled by the same variables so that they sync up when viewed. Across Deaf Beef's work, an affinity for stripped-down, retro technological aesthetics can be seen, embedding a constant recognition in the final output of the materials it was created with, code. Deaf Beef's entrance into creative coding, which began mostly during the pandemic, was paralleled by another development, the rise and prominence of the blockchain and NFTs in art. By sheer coincidence, Deaf Beef was creating exactly the kind of work to take advantage of the nature of the Ethereum blockchain, the primary blockchain for NFTs. NFTs are tokens which correspond with a particular file. The token exists on the blockchain, but most of the time, due to prohibitive storage costs, the file itself is actually off-chain, hosted on a server. 
Though it's difficult to store media files like images or videos on chain, code-based files can be stored more easily. The most common file type to find on chain is an SVG. These are essentially code-based graphics files. Artists can also store their work in the form of custom code, with that code acting as instructions on how to produce the file. This is the case in Larva Lab's Autoglyph series, and in DefBeef's artworks. For on-chain artworks, even if the servers go down, as long as the Ethereum blockchain is still in operation, the art lives on and can be reconstructed. Because DefBeef's works are written in C with very little code, they can be stored on the blockchain and recreated using only the data that is entirely on-chain. This matching of DefBeef's artistic practice and the technical limitations of presenting artwork on the Ethereum blockchain was a coincidence, but not an insignificant one for the artist's career. Inspired by projects like Artblocks, DefBeef dove into the blockchain as a medium for art, starting with synth poems and later creating projects that more directly addressed the parameters of blockchain, such as his fourth series, Entropy. In his piece, I Am Sitting in a Room, artist and composer Alvin Lucier recorded his voice on a tape recorder. I am sitting in a room, different from the one you are in now. Then, played the recording back into the room, re-recording it. He repeated this, eventually degrading the audio into something unrecognizable. At the first performance of the work at the Guggenheim in 1970, the piece was accompanied by a series of Polaroid images which had been degraded as well. Taking after Lucier, in Entropy, DefBeef binds this concept to the blockchain. The pieces in Entropy degrade each time they are transferred from one holder to another, adding a noticeable wear to the sound and visuals of the artwork. DefBeef imposes synthetic aging onto the work, giving it a sense of ephemerality like a physical artwork might have, creating a tangible consequence for the intangible gesture of transferring the token. This choice is not just conceptually interesting, it also places the work firmly in the realm of blockchain art, art which utilizes blockchain mechanics in unique ways, in addition to it already being audiovisual art, showing that the piece is fully in tune with the context of its presentation. DefBeef takes this user input further in later series, Glitchbox, and Egvection, allowing owners of the artwork to tweak parameters and create their own outputs, providing a glimpse into his own process, and creating work that is dynamic rather than static. All changes and versions are stored on chain. Though both series are similar in function, they couldn't be further apart in aesthetics, with the stripped down terminal graphics of Glitchbox varying immensely from the natural flow of Evection. The works in Evection are tied most closely to the physical world, including the sounds of struck percussion and fluid visuals, occasionally invaded by sharp overlapping squares. Evection grasps at the overlap between mathematics and the beauty of nature, interpreted as faithfully as possible through a fundamentally synthetic medium. Building on the beliefs of Pythagoras, philosopher Johannes Kepler wrote, The heavenly motions are nothing but a continuous song for several voices, a music which, through discordant tensions, syncopation, and condenses, progresses towards certain pre-designed six-voice cadences, and thereby sets landmarks in the immeasurable flow of time. Deaf Beef's works extend this song into the digital realm, creating generative audiovisual pieces so rich and human that they seem to be attempting to break out of the technological constraints that they're creating in. DefBeef's art is made with the language of technology, pure code. Rather than a representation of the world consumed through a computer, experiencing a DefBeef piece is like looking into the workings of the computer itself. Few artists have been so uniquely made for the time they lived in as DefBeef. His works speak to their artists' unending ability to break the boundaries of what's possible in creative coding, with nothing but a cheap laptop and a C compiler. Thank you.